Hi everyone, you're here sewing with Cody. I just want to do a quick video showing just a quick and easy way to quilt like a baby quilt or any type of smaller project, just really quick and easy. Um, I'm not into tying quilts. Um, if I'm looking for a quilt to be quilted that's really quick, I'm not gonna do anything free motion. Typically, I'm gonna use a walking foot or my dual feet, just using, using some really basic uh, quilting stitches and that's what I'm going to show you here. I finished a quilt a while back using some of this Cory Gentini fabric and I'm cleaning up the sewing area and I just tried to finish a project and I realized I'm missing a little piece of fabric so I was going through and I found some of these Cory Gentini squares I had left over from the other quilt. So I thought, oh, let me just make like a little doll quilt to go with a sample, just something small. And I always just enjoy just quilting. I enjoy piecing, but quilting is my true passion. I really, truly enjoy putting the quilts together. And so here I was thinking, oh, this is a great way. I get this question a lot. I need, a, they're looking, customers are looking for a quick and easy way to quilt something or basically to quilt their quilt. And they don't want to pay a long armor. Uh, they don't want to bring it to the shop and have me quilt it for them. Um, and they don't want to tie it. They want it to look nice, but they want it complete, fully quilted. And so here I'm gonna show you just some quick and, uh, a, one quick and simple way to quilt your quilt. Just using your stitch, I'm your, um, not your stitch regulator. Just using your walking foot and a simple wave stitch. Um, so I'm gonna show you here, I'll move down to the machine uh, that already has a walking foot installed. So here you can see, this is my small little, I'm gonna call it a doll quilt. And it's just my excess squares from the Cory Gentini quilt I was working on. Um, actually that I finished a while back. And you can see here I have the Bernina walking foot already installed on the machine. And you can, you don't have to have a Bernina obviously, you can use any walking foot. Um, in this small project, the dual feet would work nicely, but I always love working with the walking foot if I have it on hand. And here I have the edge stitch guide on, well not the edge stitch guide. Here I've got the edge stitch sole on the Bernina walking foot. So it gives me that nice center sole so I can ride in the seam. And you can see on the machine, I just have just a simple wave stitch. So this is stitch 1396, but I have altered it because by default 1396, 1396 is a little too long. So I just decreased the stitch length on the machine just to tighten that wave up some. And it's a quick and simple stitch that will give you a nice stitch down. I'll show you a little bit more once I get a little bit more done. But it'll just give you a nice stitch down. It's quick and simple, and it's just a great stitch to work with. So in this part of the quilt, I have this big section. It's by a 10 by 11 inch section. I can't leave that section unquilted and I can't necessarily stitch in the ditch like I have on some of the other ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some straight line quilting. So I've got my Bernina walking foot and I added the uh, edge guide on it. So what I did is to figure out how wide I want my stitches to be, what I did is I took the measurement from one of these blocks. So I just laid my walking foot where the needle position would be in the center with one of the seams. And then I was able to change the distance this rod was to line up here. So it gave me the measurement so that is similar to one of the blocks. And this is how far my lines would be quilted apart. It's just a quick and easy way to quilt these large blocks like this. So in this case, I can start on this end. So I'll stitch. So first I'll start on the edge, just to give me a nice line to kind of stitch this edge down. And I did increase my stitch length a little bit. And so I'm just gonna cut that one. And then I'm gonna use my guide that's on the side, which you probably can't see. And I'm going to use my guide and I'm gonna ride that guide along that previous stitch line.
So here you can see I've finished quilting this little doll quilt. And so all I did was do a wave stitch in the seams. And a lot of times I was able to start from the top and kind of work my way all the way down to the bottom and then kind of make my way up different seams. So I didn't have to start and stop everywhere. And it's just a simple wave stitch. And then for the bigger panels, something quick, something easy, is just some straight line quilting, about two and a quarter inches apart, going across. You can see I did the same thing up here. And I could have, if I had more time, I could have done some echo quilting. These pat, these Corridantini prints are very large, so they're very easy to work with. Could have done some free motion quilting or even some ruler work. But remember, this was something quick, something easy. This was just something just to get this project finished and done since I had some leftover. And one thing I didn't mention was I am using some 100% bamboo batting. I love the bamboo batting. It's nice and thin, it's nice and soft. Um, and to put it together, I did use some 505 temporary spray adhesive. We use that for everything at the shop from embroidery to quilting. Um, it's just some more Corridantini for the back. And it was just something really quick and something really simple. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this, the same print. I'm gonna bind it in that and that'll be the finished project. So hopefully this will give you some quick and easy quilting ideas. Just using the walking foot or even using, if you have a Bernina, you can use the built-in dual feet using the number 10 edge stitch foot, which is a wonderful foot. But the walking foot works beautifully for this project. It really just pulls the whole project, all the layers without any problems. I don't have to force it through the quilt. The Bernina walking foot is absolutely amazing. All right, well, hope you enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy sewing.